In the late 80s, we had malaria in the thousands. It has been a constant decrease up to now that we have reached elimination phase. It is a very proud time for us in Belize to say that we've had zero cases since December 2018. Ha estado bien, bien duro, bastante trabajo, pero gracias a Dios lo hemos logrado. For our country, it's a great achievement. I must thank our people who have been had made this possible. Whether it be through mobile clinics, whether it be through the malaria program, through voluntary collaborators, through community health workers, the ministry has always had a presence. We were just like sharks, piranhas. The moment we hear about a case, so we go immediately and attack it. To reach here, it's not just the government, it's not just the program, but it's a unified effort, the input from everybody and all the stakeholders. We plan to continue to work hard and try to target as much fever case as possible to stay malaria free. The cases that we've had during or that last three years up to now has always been imported cases and these cases were detected early and treated definitely a whole investigation occurred and this was all thanks to the surveillance system that we have set up in our country. We have different organizations that can come together and we can contribute to keep this zero cases of malaria here in Belize. What we need to do is not let down our guards and be able to continue the good work that has been happening. I believe that what we're seeing currently is a testament to the arduous work the commitment and also the resilience of our people. This is a significant achievement for Belize and in maintaining zero case for malaria is helping to reduce the impact on our people's health. Here in Belize with all the difficulties we have and the challenges we have, it's our hearts that keep us driving to keep our people safe. We are, as a country, committed to ensure that we can keep Belize malaria free. We now need to ensure that the entire region is also malaria free.